Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, if you haven't seen the first three tutorials on how to make your own website, you can go check them out in the description, or they might be right around here as an annotation. This next step will show you how to host your own website completely for free. And I know a lot of people say, you know, you have to have money, and you know, it costs money for a good host. But that's, it's not true all the time, so I want to, I want to show you what I use. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Before we even start, I want to, what we have to do is actually make a uh, zipped archive. So we're going to new WinRAR zip archive. If you don't have WinRAR, you can search it and download it. So we're going to call this website dot zip. Okay. And I'm going to put my website inside of it. Let's copy it inside. And now our website's inside and everything, our whole directory is basically in here. So now we're going to actually host it. So we want to go to our browser and go to 00webhost.com there we go okay so here is actually where um, this is the hosting mechanism that we're going to be using it's a really really nice web or hosting uh, a really really nice host and um, I've been using it for quite a while now, and it, it works really well. So, before I actually use Dropbox, and Dropbox, the only problem with Dropbox is it it's really slow, and it takes up, you know, I don't think you can have it forever, and it's 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 horrible. But, um, yeah, so we're going to use 00 web, 000 web host. So we're going to go to sign up. Okay, so if you have a domain that you've you already have, like you bought, like you pre-bought before this, um, you can put that in right here. I would have put sportsvemo00.net. If you want to get your own domain, a great place to get them, and the place that I got mine was GoDaddy.com. You've probably heard of them. And that's not it, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Um, GoDaddy.com. You can search it actually right here. Let's say I wanted Taylor.com. I mean, it's not going to be there, but you can you know basically find it's already taken but you can see which ones you you can and then you can add it and you can see how much po like process or uh, not process but money it costs um so i'm actually just going to cuz i already have my own uh, my own server i'm just going to put it in and i'm not going to hit save or I'm not going to submit it put in my name okay that's really slow and my email. I'll put. It. God damn. My password. And my password again. And you agree with the terms of service, and you create your account and verify from an email. Once you're done with that, you can go to uh, the seat, the home, and actually I'll log in. Okay, uh, here's basically your home page, and if we click on sportsvemo100.net, actually, if you, if you, if, if you have a domain that you just registered, it'll bring you to a page not like this, but it will bring you to a, not like this, but it will bring you to a page that basically shows your directory and what's in it, like your. Uh, there's a folder called public HTML, and it's actually really useful. So, if you go back into here and go to cPanel, there's actually a lot of useful uh, stuff here. Uh, if you go to account information, this is actually really important. If you ever wanted to upload things from Dreamweaver, which there's ways to do it, um, here's the information, uh, the server name right here. But what we want to do is actually go to um, File Manager and log in with our password. Now I'm actually in my domain file manager, which is really cool. And we want to go to public HTML, and this is where we're going to be uploading our whole website to. And I'm going to make a new file. Ah, crap, no. Resend. I'm not going to make a new file because that's stupid. But did I create it? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to make a new folder, new directory, and call it um, tutorial website. Uh, no capitals. You you can do capitals, but it's just easier to locate. You don't do capitals. 
Ah. All right, we're gonna go back, and as you see, our tutorial website's right here, and this is where we're gonna upload our our uh, our website to. But if you haven't uploaded anything here, you can just upload straight to here, just straight to your uh, your desktop, or your not your desktop, your public HTML folder. But because I already have a website up, I'm gonna go to the tutorial website and have it in a nice separate page. So from here, I'm going to go to upload and find browse um, for the zipped zip folders and find desktop and open up uh, website and upload it <coughs> and uh, go back now as you see if we go to website our whole website's right here so if we go to sportsdumb100.net slash tutorial oh crap slash tutorial website you can see if we go to website right here here's our website oh yeah we have to go to website again uh, but basically this is our website pretty cool right yeah I know it's awesome it's just so cool um, but actually what I'm gonna do is go up and delete or actually no go in copy all or actually move all this to just here and set all tar uh, target directories and hit OK. I'll go back and what that basically did was move everything out of that folder um, so you can get everything in here just in the main thing so if we went to um, we just got rid of the website it'll go straight to here instead of having um, you know, whatever you, whatever, instead of having the extra folder in there. So that's really nice. And um, <clears throat> so that's basically it. So we've hosted our website. That's ba that we've we've done it. That's it's great. It's awesome. So uh, the last step is to um, add like let's say you have a forum or a blog and you want to add those to your website. And let's say instead of having like what I had before it was like sportsfan one one zero zero dot net slash Edit or no, it was like sportsfan one zero zero dot edit board or something like that. That like a pre-made form. Uh, I'm gonna actually show you how to use PHBB three in the next tutorial and how to make your own blog in the next tutorial. That's gonna be the last part, and I'll be done with the full tutorial. So stay tuned for next time, and I'll see you later. Bye.